Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Long time no see, right? <laughs> I know, I just, I can't get into videos all the time. I've just been super busy, never have time to sit down and just film a video. Um, if I look a little red, I was out in the sun all weekend, so I'm like super sunburned. But, anyway, I am here to do a really, really, really exciting video. Now, what I'm going to show you, this is not that video. Um... This is a witch baby soap haul. This was her false spell box, um, which is a subscription service that she does. Did not film that. It was just uh, too hectic to probably will film the winter one. But this is a witch baby haul. I ordered a crap ton of stuff from witch baby. Um, and I ordered from her where I work. I work at Lush. Um, I just know that a lot of people, they're like, you need to try them. They're really awesome too. Try all her stuff. Did. And that did it. Like, I'm like, oh my god, her stuff's amazing. Then I sort of got off the bandwagon a little bit. And I was um, cleaning out my beauty closet and I found this guy, which is the, her Halamass um, body butter. And I was like, oh my god, it smells so good. And it doesn't expire till October. 24th of this year because I bought it last year and I was like oh my god and I missed it so I went on she didn't really have a whole lot she was going through that transition um of like old stuff so I ordered the false pre-ordered the false spell box forgot about it then I got it and I'm like oh my god my witch baby I totally forgot about ordering that so got that then I waited for her restock um of all that new false stuff which is called the witch's academy and I placed a big order. Half of it's that and half of it's like other stuff. But as always, Witch Baby sends you a little uh, sample of soap in like a little gusseted bag. So this is Witch Baby Soap business card. And then on the back, it says use the code Abracadabra for 5% off your next order. I always have done that. This right here is a combination of three orders. She just combined. Um, them into one box and I placed three more orders that she's also going to combine into one box for me as well but it came with a sample of secret order soap which secret order I have it here somewhere the description I will talk about it because I got it in a bath bomb so I'll talk about that soap but you always get a little sample of soap these are nice to try out the scents I like them in my upstairs like a powder bathroom powder bathroom powder room just to wash your hands it's a nice little bar of soap that you can you know get nice and clean so we're gonna go ahead and start with the bath bombs because I got a lot of them <laughs> so the first one that I got was the blood and milk bath bomb and it says to celebrate a full year since the release of our best-selling blood and milk body scrub we added this blood red baby to our line our blood and milk milk bath bomb is a mac macabre treat it has the same signature blood orange and coconut fragrance as blood and milk we packed this bath bomb with coconut oil clay and topped it off with coconut milk oh with nourishing coconut oil mineral rich clay and topped it off with coconut milk it has a stunning blood red hue topped with white milky foam that's to die for so it has a little bit of white on the top as you can see and to me this just smells like coconut and oranges like I don't get a whole lot of orange from it I mainly get the I mainly get the um the coconut milk but it smells really good. I'm going to pull out my um, invoice too to see how much everything was as well. Um, the Blood and Milk bath bomb was $6.50. And these are nice, hefty. You can feel like the weight of the bath bombs. So there was that one. Then next, this bath bomb was one order. I placed one. I placed, It was literally happened like two days after I placed the first one. It says, a witch never he hesitates to lend a helping hand. Today, we are donating 100% of the proceeds of our charity bath bomb to the Greater Houston Community Foundation's Hurricane Harvey relief efforts. This elegant bath bomb is a beautiful plum and jasmine fragrance that's completely addicting. It paints the bath a lovely shade of purple, has an abundance of luxurious froth, and whole jasmine flowers. So it looks like this, and this is the charity bath bomb. Now... I'm always about supporting charities, so when I found out that 100% went to Hurricane Harvey, I I don't know why I didn't get 10 of them. I got 8. I don't know what 8. I spent 40 bucks. I don't know why I just didn't get 10 of them, but I got 8 of them. 
Um, this will be a nice like, oh my gosh, I'm really in the mood for a bath, don't know what to use, use one of these. And I felt good that 80 or $40 that I spent on these, all 40 went to Hurricane Harvey victims. So made me feel really, really good. Um, and they smell really good, they're very, very floral. So if you're not a big fan of floral, I would not get these unless you want to help charity and like give these as gifts. But they smell really good and I felt really good about buying them. Then I got the Death Tarot bath bomb. So it has a Death Tarot card. And if you guys don't know which baby soap, she's a very spooky bath company. She originated this bath bomb, not this exact scent, but this type of bath bomb, which is the graveyard or which was a coffin bath bomb. So it says Witch Baby on it. It's white on the or yellow on the top, black on the bottom. This is the Death Bath Bomb. It does not want to focus. The death bath bomb. Here we go. Need a change? Drop this yellow and black coffin into the bath and be reborn in this blood red apple scented bath. Fear not, the death card may seem quite morbid, but it carries the energy of transformation, resilience, and new beginnings. So I always like to take um, these type of baths, like, you know, when you're feeling just really like down in the dumps and you just want something really energizing or really like cleansing for like just your mind I use bath bombs I don't use bath bombs every day I don't take a bath every day I just use these when I'm really in the mood for um a bath you know but not I mean I use regular bubble bath too but just when I really need just a nice relaxation I use these and this um death terror bath bomb was eight dollars and they have they're in like little like these little fringy things so that was the death tarot bath bomb next we have her signature bath bomb what made her famous these always she tries to keep them fully stocked on the website but sometimes they just sell out yeah sometimes they just sell out so this says don't open dead inside and it is her graveyard bath bomb so this macabre bath bomb is a total powerhouse. It's all the TLC a living dead girl needs in her undead life. It's packed with skin nourishing shea butter and avocado oil to rejuvenate dull lifeless skin. These bombs get their gray color from mineral rich kale and clay, which is a great way for, or great for any skin type, dead or undead. It smells of carefully arranged funeral flowers and freshly dug graves. Drop this guy gigantic bath bomb in a warm bath and enjoy. So has some pink in the bottom and some gray on the top that says graveyard bath bomb I love this so much it smells so fresh I want the perfume I want the body butter but everything else is sold out spoiler I did buy the body oil of it it's just fresh and earthy and floral and just everything that you want in a bath bomb it smells really good and this was eight dollars and you can hear there's like a little bit of extra dust. You can see, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. So there's that. And even though these are like plastic wrapped, they are all biodegradable packaging, she says, so or recyclable. So next is, like I said, Halamass, which I love. She has a bath bomb Halamass. Now, every order that I placed, I threw one of these in there. So I have a bunch of these coming to me too because it's one of my favorite bath bombs. So this is the Halamass bath bomb. It has um, pumpkin with a little glitter face. Halamass bath bomb. Um, these are $7. I picked up two because this is a combination of three orders. I just did the charity bombs, but I got two of these. And it says, Halamass is a Halloween cult classic. This autonomous bath bomb is the embodiment of October. It has the intoxicating aroma of crushed, caramelized jack-o'-lantern guts, drenched in bourbon vanilla and with a dash of warm pumpkin spice. It has a beautiful luster and colors the water a beautiful shade of jack-o'-lantern orange. We packed it full of pumpkin spice, real pumpkin, and pumpkin seed oil. Watch this ultra-frothy Halloween bath bomb explode with tricks and treats. I love the way that this smells. It smells like pumpkin, but it has that sweetness to it that just is incredible. That's just, like, sweet and spicy and addicting. So, like I said, I love this. Use one of these on Halloween every year. I, uh... Just love my Halloween bath bomb. Next, this one was on sale and it is sold out on the website now. Do not disturb. 
and this one is the Heartbreak Hotel bath bomb. So, looks like this, just pure pink. Whoops, my computer went to sleep on me, which means I'm at 10 minutes. Yep. Um, and it's Heartbreak Hotel. I love the font of this collection. This was the old, this is the hotel collection. Um, that's why it was on sale. It says it has the fragrant aroma of bubblegum. Um, the bubblegum pink bath bomb has a cleansing herb that rinses away the bad vibes and keeps the creeps away. So just a really fun bath bomb. It was $6.50. I just wanted to pick it up because I wanted to try what Heartbreak Hotel smells like. Next, this is super cute. It says, which baby soap likes you? Pass it on. And this one is called Girl Crush. This was $8. It says, Girl Crush is the smell of innocent, unrequited love. It's the moment you set your eyes on your first crush. It's the aroma that draped behind them as they walked as they passed you in the hall. Sweet, floral, innocent, and utterly haunting in the memory. This bath bomb turns the water a uh, shade of purple and it has a secret note inside. <sighs> to me, this smells like, like a Bath and Body Works fresh scent. But I can't think of what it smells like. Like clean laundry or something like that? I'm not 100% positive, but it does smell really good. I'm breaking it open a little bit so I can smell. Yeah, it just smells like super fresh. I don't know, it's like a spring day. Next, probably my favorite smell right now. It's weird. A lot of people don't like this, and I don't know. I like it because it is so unique. I got um, the hand salve. Um, it's a little travel size in my spell box. Um, and I had to order the big size because I'm almost done with it. This is called Initiation, and this one is the Initiation Bath Bomb. So it says, initiate yourself with this sweet and intricate bonfire blend. Let this wise and knowing aroma swirl and transform your skin like smoke from a fire. Notes of honey and vanilla rise up to greet you like a familiar friend. Sage and Jinko give this bath brew a wise and noble edge. I love the way this smells. It smells like just fresh, but it has this really sweet fire scent, like a bonfire and like fallen leaves and just like all these really really cool fall scents without it being fall like traditional fall it smells so good and I like that it's like a disc shape almost done with the bath bombs this one is called Magic Beach this was also sold out also on sale Magic Beach is a sea witch's citrus soaked daydream. A sweet, playful blend of zesty lime, sea spray, and agave nectar invigorates the senses. Plunge into your personal lagoon with this sea foam green bath bomb and see what treasures await you. I love the way this smells. I actually have this, I also got this in the body scrub, so I'll talk about this a little bit more. It's like limey and sea salt, but nothing like. Nothing weird. Not not like fake lime. It smells like real lime. So nothing like too strong or overpowering. So that's the Magic Beach. Then her probably most famous bath bomb, even though Graveyard is, is this one. It is the Psychic Bath Bomb. It is sold out on the website right now. Looks like this. I love her round bath bombs that have the crush when she puts a crystal in there. Our Psychic Bath Bomb has the same lavender and amber fragrance as our best-selling soap and butter. Also, like its counterparts, it contains yarrow, which is used by mystics and psychics alike to increase psychic ability. This lavish bomb is packed with biodegradable glitter, high-quality hemp oil, and topped with an amethyst. Simply drop this luxurious baby into the bath, relax as you inhale the fragrant lavender essential oil, and open your third eye. So, it has a crystal skull right in the top there. So once you drop it in, it just goes in the bath water and makes it super, super soft and yummy. Um, and she does charge the crystals before she puts them in the bath. I don't know if you believe in all that stuff, but she does. I did read that, that she does um, recharge all the crystals before they go in the bomb. So they are ready to bring you those amazing abilities. Then this guy says, in perfect love and perfect trust. And this is the Secret Order Bath Bomb, which is the one I got as a soap. It's a step into the dark of night into, and into our midnight society with this deep autumn blend of sweet harvest offerings and crunchy fall foliage. Immerse yourself into the mysterious depths 
of this blend and give yourself over to the alluring enchantment of fall. Deep within this bath bomb is the key to the unknown. So I have a feeling, I've not watched any demos, but it's pure like, it's not brown, it's like a dark, 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 dark burgundy. Um, almost like a light, like light purple or dark, dark purple. It smells like leaves and pine. Like, it smells like pine trees. And I really like this. This will be great for a transition in between fall and winter because it still has that, like, fun fall foliage scent, but it also has the pine. I really like that. Two more bath bombs and then we're done. <laughs> this guy is the Wheel of Fortune bath bomb. So if you take a look at that, Wheel of Fortune bath bomb smells bright and exuberant, much like the energy of this card. Tangy ginger ginger tea with fresh squeezed lime makes this blend burst with springtime energy. The Wheel of Fortune grants us strength when times are rough and reminds that the wheel of life continues to turn regardless of our situation. Just fun, fun fresh citrusy. It was on sale because I think it was part of the summer collection, so I just wanted to pick it up. To have some bath bombs and then the last bath bomb that i got is the witch's woods bath bomb and literally this camera has been focusing all day why is it not today there we go witch's woods bath bomb can you see the crystal skull oh yeah you can really see the crystal skull in there witch's woods smells of the deep woods in mid-october it's the cool autumn breeze that rustles through the trees it's the leaves crunching underneath your boots this coven classic evolves the spirit of the witch and the heart of autumn I love the way this smells. It's very, very unique and very different. I'm not 100% positive on what the smell is. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's perfumey in a way, but nothing like weird perfumey. It just smells good. It's hard to describe. I really like that. Two more smaller items, and then I'm going to do a part two of the other stuff. I picked up the Spooky Cat Soap because I just could not handle it. It has a cat on it. It's layered with the clear on the top. All of her soaps come with a clear coating on the top that have an image, so you can still use the soap and the image doesn't wash away right away. It has orange, or white, orange, and yellow, just like a candy corn, and it smells just like candy corn. This was five bucks, and I was like, I have to pick this up. Super, super cute. I love the way it looks. It'll look super cute in my bathroom. And then last but not least, I ordered a face soap. Um, I like to use a uh, quick, quick face wash in the morning when I'm in the shower, just like a really quick. I love my Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I have about half of it left. I'm like, I'm going to try Witch Baby Soap. I'm going to try. I don't love bar soap on my face. I don't really like bar soap on my body that much. Hers are really nice because I just, I like, I like her scents. Um, but... I just said I'm gonna try one so this one is the Medusa face soap so it's shaped like a rose and it says Medusa is made with restorative Valencia orange and lime essential oils purifying sea clays moisturizing coconut milk nourishing aloe and mineral rich seaweed citrus oils make this sea soap ideal for those with acne prone or oily skin but this organic or oceanic beauty house is beneficial for any stone cold vixen and this was seven dollars i'm excited to see i feel like i'm really gonna like the way that it feels in my hands when i like lather it up i don't know it's like a weird thing people say it smells really really weird when you open it though um it has to like sit for a few days and that smell goes away i'm not sure what it is but i don't want to open this because in my one order, I have this limited edition pumpkin face soap that she has, and I want to start using that one first. So I'm keeping this in the plastic until it's ready to go. So there's that. Um, do I talk about the six scrubs that I have now, or do I do a separate video? We're already at almost 20 minutes, so I'm going to upload this, keep you guys on your toes, so you can stay tuned for part two, where I talk about all the scrubby scrub scrubs that I bought and body butters. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.